You want to install a Minecraft world or map in Minecraft 1.21 and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to do that. Now if you've already got a Minecraft world, awesome, this video will work for you. But if you don't, there's a link in the description down below to here, which is our best Minecraft maps. It's a collection of some amazing maps. We do list versions here. Some of these are for 1.21, some of these are for older versions. But whenever you download a map, if it is for an older version, you can typically convert it into the newer Minecraft version. Sometimes that will cause issues, but most of the time it's fine. For this video, we're going to use Greek City. It's one of the amazing maps that are on this list, and it's kind of like a survival style map that has you in a beautiful Greek city. Once you're downloading a map, it's probably going to be from CurseForge or MinecraftMaps.com. And here we are on CurseForge. You're going to go ahead and download it by clicking Files, going to the three dots, and clicking Download. And the download will begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep your save files when you're downloading them, like we do here. And while this is downloading, how do from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, breakdown.xyz slash sgh, where you can easily add a Minecraft custom map or world, a single player world, any world that you want to your Minecraft server, and play on that world with your friends. On top of that, you can add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server, plus there's expert live chat support there to help you along the way. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz sgh and start playing your Minecraft world with your friends the simple way. Nevertheless, we can now, with this map downloaded, minimize our browser. The installation process is the same from this point, whether you download a map from Modrinth, our website, minecraftmaps.com, it doesn't matter where you get a map. From here, this is where you want to pick up, because the first thing we need to do is move the map to our desktop. That's important because what we want to do is make sure this file is correct. We do not need this to be a zipped file as we see here. What we want to do is right click on it, click on extract all, and then click extract. That's going to go ahead and extract this file and turn this from a zip file into a folder, right like so. So we zip filed here, we can actually delete but we're still not done. We open this up, we want to see a bunch of files and folders, not just one. So we want to open up the folder that's in here. And this is what we want. A bunch of files, a bunch of folders. You'll have some that are similar to this, but it might not be all of them, like advancements or data packs or dim1, dim-1, a level.dat file or just a level file. You're going to have some of those. You might not have all of them, but you have some of them. Once you find these, go ahead and go back in the top left and move this to your desktop. Now at this point, we have a file here that as soon as we open it, we see the files and folders we want. So as soon as we open this, you should see these files and folders here. Might not be all of them, but it should be most of them. And that is the thing that you're looking for when you're installing your map. When you open the folder, it should show all of these. If it doesn't, it's not going to work. So we want to make sure that when we open it, this is what we see. Now from here, it's actually really easy to install a map. The hardest part is getting that file prepped. After that, just open up the Minecraft launcher. Don't play Minecraft, open up the Minecraft launcher. In the Minecraft launcher, go to installations up here at the top. Then find the Minecraft version that you are going to be playing the map with. In our case, it's gonna be 1.21. So hover over that and click on the folder icon that appears. In here, this is your .minecraft folder, you will have a saves folder, right? So what we wanna do is open up the saves folder. Then drag and drop the map you wanna install. Any of your vanilla maps or any of the other maps that you've added or played in Minecraft are here as well. So for example, Nextcraft, it's like my personal survival world. That's in here and it's where this is stored. It's where all of your Minecraft worlds are stored. But before we go play in game, make sure the map you added, in our case, Greekos here, when you open that up, you see these files or folders. If you don't, it's not going to work. But now we can go ahead and launch up Minecraft using Minecraft 1.21 in this case, because that's what we're installing a map for. And once we're in game, it's going to be super easy to play this map. That's because it's now in your single player. So if you go to single player here, you'll be able to see all of your maps, including Greekos. Right here it is. And if you double click on it, it will go ahead and launch right on in and you're done. It's that easy to add maps to Minecraft 1.21. Sometimes you'll get a warning that some things may break when you add a map. That's perfectly normal, and you can go ahead and proceed, because worst comes to worst, you can just reinstall a fresh version of the map if it does break, but as we can see here, that is not the case, and things have worked beautifully. Let us know if you have any questions in the description down below, and what Minecraft map or world are you installing with this video? Let us know in the comments, and we will see you in the next one. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.